So the latest Outriders patch hit last week. Leaving it over the weekend to sailing, how has the patch aka update affected the game? Has it like we are used to seeing broken things further? Or has it like we ain't used to seeing made the game more stable and more enjoyable to play? Today we get into it people. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So the latest patch for Outriders is a patch which has taken a while to arrive. Originally teased ages ago, we as players have waited patiently for this patch to actually land. PCF have had problems with previous issues which they wanted to sort first and I do believe those issues were more or less cleared up. The patch we have all been waiting for again landed last Thursday, the patch which buffed many aspects of our character classes. And while in patching many aspects from what we are used to, we'd normally see other things break or bug out pretty soon after. Well I will be honest with you guys. The only issues I am seeing that's been reported are issues I think were apparent prior to this patch which PCF are already looking into and plan on fixing, nothing major at all. I've seen one mention within the normal sources of information I check and that was to do with slight stirring. But other than that it seems as though for the most part people this latest patch is a good one. So I decided myself to jump in and check the game out. First time I've played it in quite a while, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Now me not really bothering with any newly buff skills, as for me, they don't interest for how I want to play this game. But I'm more interested with the stability of the game because this is what's most important in regards to PCF dropping new content. They want the game in a perfect state before anything new is announced. So I jumped on for a couple of expeditions and I will tell you guys, my playthroughs were flawless. The game felt great, it felt smooth, no stuttering, no lagging, no bugs, no drama. I even logged in pretty quick too which was a surprise for me. Now finishing up on expeditions and knowing loot was increased by 100% it does feel a lot more rewarding. So what we have here guys in Outriders is a game that feels good. A game for that new player which would probably give them hundreds of hours of fun with no real issues. But it is a game for the hardcore player, the player that has played the game from day one which in my opinion even with all these arguably great buffs there isn't much incentive to come back and play unless you enjoy making and experimenting with builds. I do so myself love making and experimenting with builds. It's just using the same builds and the same enemies within the same expeditions is boring to me, especially when you've done close to a thousand expeditions. I will save all the great changes they have added with this latest patch in terms of the buffs for when that new content actually arrives as then at least I'll be somewhat surprised with how things class wise have changed for the better because I do remember a lot of these skills being utterly useless so using them in their buff state will be great because let's not lie to ourselves a lot of those buffs were truly needed and to be honest I don't think they're finished with these buffs. I believe PCF plan to buff legendary armor sets too and there's quite a few in my opinion which do need buffing and will be obviously more incentive to jump on and experiment with builds as well because although it's good to see skills being buffed to be buffed even further with the assistance of these armor sets would be great but yes people the latest patch is a good one minimal apparent bugs with it basically smooth sailing the game for me feels great to play right now but for me as a hardcore player who's played from day one hundreds of hours into this game although the game feels good to play right now in my opinion it isn't a fun one to play because i've done everything over and over now let's hope that in the next few patches they're already working on are as smooth sailing as the last one because after that i'm hoping we will start to learn about new content but we will see guys we will see let me know your opinions on this latest patch have you experimented with any classes have you created any decent builds which wouldn't be inefficient before let me know but on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, even a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.